everyone, it's JoJo, and today I have a vintage thrift haul video for you today. Our grass sales are really winding down around here, so um, last week and this week I decided to go to the thrift store. All of these items came from Goodwill, um, except for one, and one I got the restore. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you the things that I found. The first thing I'll show you is these beautiful depression plates. Um, these are made by Macbeth Evans, and this is their petal wear print. On my wish list, I actually have a plate that's identical to this, except for it has these beautiful pastel rings around it, and that's something I'm still looking for. Um, but I was thrilled to find these. I paid $2.99 for two of them, and um, these are like the salad plates, but I love them, and I love the way... Um, the light just, you know, is translucent and it shows through the back of them. Um, I got some books. Uh, the first book I paid 59 cents for and it says, Ah, uh, One, Not Two, Life with a Musical Family. And it is um, a story about Lawrence Welk. And I do like the Lawrence Welk show, so I thought, mm, I think I'll get it. The copyright on this one is, let's see if I can find it. It is 1974, 75. So, but I thought that would be neat. I got an original Hardy Boys book. This one is The Clue of the Broken Blade, and I paid $1.29 for it. And it is um, 1942. And it's actually, the, the book itself is in good condition. Uh, the cover does have some tears and things on it, but um, I thought that was a really neat find. This here is a book, um, and I'm really excited to read it. Um, it's called Elegant Glassware, The Depression Era, and this is the sixth ed edition of this book. Um, but I was really excited. Um, I paid $1.29 for this one, too. All the hardbacks were $1.29, and the paperbacks are um, $0.79. Cents. Uh, and I had a lady in line said to me, oh, that's such a neat book. She goes, I'm glad I, I, you're lucky you found it first because she said I would have got that book. Um, and I think it's 1995. That's what it says there. So when this came out. But I'm really excited to read this. Um, I read a lot of reference books. And um, one of my viewers, Barbara, was telling me that she was a member of the Depression Glass Club and... Um, she gave me another reference book to read, so I'm excited. I thought of her when I was out and about at the Goodwill and saw this um, this book. And then the last book I got is this one. It does not have, I don't know if it had a paper cover to it or not, but it's called Cartoon Treasury. And it's from the 50s, and I just thought it would be so neat to look at some of the um, cartoons in it. Uh, 19, I don't know if you can see it, 1955. And some of them are really funny. I've kind of just vaguely glanced through them, but um, I'm sure I'll take the time to read it. I love the graphics. And the neat thing about this book is um, it's actually the cartoons from around the world. So see that this one's from England. There's um, Germany. There's Australia, Switzerland. Um, it goes on and on. Um, so you kind of get a taste of humor around the world, which I really like. And then um, moving on, I got a couple of metal um, mid-century trays. This one, I, I took the tag off because I washed it. The front of it was dirty. I think I paid $1.29 for this one. But it has some roses, and I love the color. Um, I'm actually working on a wall, like a wall collage. I put up some of the tin trays on. Um, and I'll show you that one maybe in a video soon, so you can kind of see my progress on that. Um, this is another one. It's black, and it's, it's larger than the other one. I paid $2.99 for it, and it has little um, yellow flowers and little white flowers on it. I got a couple paint-by-number, frame paint-by-number pictures, because I thought they were so neat. These are carnations, and I paid $1.99. Um, they're in really great condition, and I love like the cream um, wooden frame to them. That one's carnations, and then this one is roses. And I'm sure I'll probably hang them somewhere in the kitchen. I don't have a exact spot for them yet, but I'm sure that's where they'll go. This is the one item that I did get the Restore, and it is a Revere Wear 
uh, coffee is it's like a drip uh, I think they call it drip later but it's a coffee pot and you will put the grounds in the bottom down here and then you put the water the boiling water on top and then you just let it drip through and then when it's all finished the coffee comes down here um, and then you can reheat it on the stove if you want but um, all my pots and pans I use every day are Revere wear and I really like them. So I was excited about this. Um, we have a French press, we have a Keurig maker, but we don't have a drip coffee one. So I thought, oh, I'll try that and see how it tastes and if it tastes any different. Um, and then if I try it, I'll report back and let you know what I think. So I don't have many um, vintage Halloween items. So I was excited to find a couple things. These were 99 cents a piece. This one is marked with blow mold. Um, and it says Empire Plastic Corporation, uh, 1968 on it. This one's a little faded. And then this one has a little winky face. Um, the paint is coming off of it. And it's not marked on the bottom. But I thought it was neat. I would like to get some more vintage um, Halloween. I have a lot of vintage Christmas. So I was excited to find those. Something to add. Um, to my decorations this year. I didn't do a whole lot so far, but I am working on them. So I found these cute little salt and pepper shakers. It's a cut glass and they have these button tops. This one is cracked on it. I paid $2.59 for them and there's there's probably no way you're going to be able to see it on the video. But they are, the caps here are marked sterling um, and I'm not sure who makes them, but they're in really great condition. And um, I just love the way the crystal, the, the cut glass sparkles on them. I got this set of candle holders. I paid $1.59 for both of them. They were taped together. Um, I have been using them, so there's some wax on the inside. But um, possibly Fenton, I'm not sure. Um, but they have a little hobnail to it. And the opalescent glass, it's a white color. I got those. I got this little bird, bird, bluebird. He is not vintage, or she's not vintage, but um, I just liked it. It looks like a little spoon rest, and I think that's what I'm going to use it for. Um, and I paid 59 cents for that. This item here, I almost feel like I have deja vu, or I already I have one. I'm not sure. Um, this one I paid 79 cents for. It has a little fleur de lis milk glass plate. Um, I think it's made by Westmoreland. Um, I feel like I already have this. I picked it up. I was excited about it, but then the more I looked at it, I feel like I already bought one. So I'm going to have to look at my other uh, milk glass and see if I have two now. I'm not sure. These were probably what I'm most excited about on the table that I found. I paid $2.99 for the whole set. Um, they were in a shoe box and they were taped in um, packaging tape. And I didn't notice that I'm actually missing a cup. There are six saucers and five cups. And they are made by Hazel Atlas. They're a drizzle pattern. Um, this is white. It kind of looks like orange on the screen here, but it is kind of like a mustard uh, gold color. But I love these. I'm really excited to find those. I paid 59 cents for this, and they actually had two more of them. It's like an egg strainer. And I actually could use this, so that's why I went ahead and, and got it. it has, it's got the feet on it, which is interesting, but um, I could definitely use that. I got this cool little cup, and it's the only one they had. Um, I paid 99 cents for it, and it looks like a soda fountain type um, cup. It's got a metal base to it, and then a frosted glass, and it is marked, I don't know if you can see it, it is marked Anchor Hawking on the bottom. And I don't know much about it. I just thought it was so neat and I love the yellow color to it. A few more things to show you. I got this needle point uh, pillow and it's got these poppies on it. I just love the flowers on it and I paid $2.59 for it. Um, but I'm not sure how to wash it. It doesn't have a cover. I usually buy pillowcases, you know, that I mean pillows that have a cover so I can wash it. Um, and this feels more like a wool type of yarn so I'm gonna have to do some research and figuring out how to clean that I finally got a punch bowl believe it or not that's the one thing I did not own I do not have a punch bowl but I do now this was actually half off for the set um, it's anchor hawking and it's milk glass 
It's missing the base that goes with it. I paid two dollars and fifty cents for it. It was originally four ninety nine. It was half off day, and it has ten um, cups with it. I think it was supposed to have twelve, but it has ten. But I'm excited. I just you know I've been wanting a punch bowl and. I see them all the time, but for $2.50, I decided to go ahead and get that set. This is also Anchor Hacking. Whoops, I don't know why I had it upside down. Uh, this is um, just a milk glass bowl that I picked up, and I think I paid $3 for it. But I thought it matched the punch bowl, so I could use them together. I did try st sticking the punch bowl on top of the space, but it was a little wobbly, just to see if I could use it for a base, I should say. But it didn't really work. And the last thing I have to show you is um, a few linens. I did find some more linens. And this is a scarf with pink roses. I paid 99 cents for it. And then this pillowcase, I paid 59 cents for it. And it's this real um, soft cotton. But I just love this. It reminded me of one of the flower sack pillowcases. This one is not, but that's what it reminded me of. I got this pretty white uh, tablecloth with a scalloped edge to it. Um, I paid a little more for this. I think I paid $4.99 for it. But a lot of times I need like a white tablecloth on my table just because um, like the one I have on now is a square. And so I need something like this underneath it. And so I was thinking maybe I could use this. Um, the one I have on right now is really long in the corners, and this one should actually fit a lot better. These are some napkins, some cloth napkins. There's three of them. And, let's see, I know I left a tag on this one. Uh, I paid $1.29 for three. And then I only have two for this one. And it's $0.99. Cents and it had this real pretty cross stitch on it. And I did find the matching tablecloth. They weren't in the same spot, but I did find it. And it's a square tablecloth, probably more for um, like a card table. Then I found these. These are vintage. I'm not really sure the exact date on them. I uh, found the napkins and sets of three. So there's six all together. I paid $1.29 for this set. And it's an Egyptian print. And then I paid $1.29 for this set and then the matching tablecloth. And I paid $2.99 for it. But I just thought the colors were really bold and I had not, this is a, something I hadn't seen before. So I just went ahead and got it. Whether this is something I'll keep for myself or maybe sell in the future, that's definitely a possibility. I love these, um, these picnic type tablecloths because we do go on picnics in the summer and I like the blue color of this one. So I went ahead and picked this up and I can't remember how much I paid for this one. I think I paid $3.99 for it. But I don't know where I put the tag. I'm almost positive I paid $3.99 for it. But I don't see the tag right now. So I found this sheet, um, this vintage sheet. It's a field crest, and I love the tag on it too, but I can't, I guess I should have had the tag sticking out before I filmed the video so I could remember. I think this one was $2.29 maybe. But, here's that. And last but not least, this is beautiful bedspread. This bedspread was made by Sears. And um, I paid $4.99 for it. It is a queen size. And it's like this um, chenille uh, candle wick. They call these little dots like candle wick. And a real pretty floral print to it. And it's, it's nice. It has no stains or anything in it. And that was a terrific price for that. So that's everything I found at the thrift store the last couple weeks. Um, I did go to a garage sale this morning. And there's a rummage sale tomorrow. Uh, I got a couple of things this morning. And um, we'll see what the rummage sale brings. But I can't imagine I'll have too many more garage sales to share with you. But until then, I will be probably doing some more thrifting at the thrift store. So I'm sure I will um, put up another one of those videos. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. 
Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.